Hey everybody, how you doing? Last Outrider here with a new series, Data Slate Space Marines. If you're a Space Marine player, this is going to change how you play 40k. If you're not a Space Marine player, you're going to hope Space Marine players don't watch these videos. We're going to be talking about formations from Data Slate Ultra. Now, if you don't know, formations present a collection of units that fight alongside each other in a particular way. Each formation will tell you what units you need to take and what, if any, options or restrictions apply to the units that make up that formation. The army list entries for each unit in a formation, the unit profiles, values, and etc. like that, you can find on your own in the um, main rule book or wherever so this basically says that if you take these combinations of units you will get extra special abilities above and beyond if you had just bought them and used them individually that's a formation we're going to be talking about now the first company hammerfall assault force that's the name of this formation and here's the fluff on it the Land Raider is a powerful weapon in the arsenal of the Space Marines in its own right. But when combined with the armor and firepower of Terminator squads, it becomes almost unstoppable. Often conditions will be suboptimal for the deployment of aircraft. Or perhaps the first captain may want to divide his forces to secure multiple objectives. So it is that the terminators of a strike force ultra may divide their strength so that some enter battle supported by a land raider redeemer or crusader. The heavy assault vehicle complements the strengths of the terminators well delivering them directly into the ranks of their foes, and then providing fire support with its impressive array of weaponry. There's the fluff. So, the formation <coughs> consists of a, let's say, a first company Hammerfall Assault Force consists of the following units. One Terminator Captain. One Terminator Squad. One Terminator Assault Squad and one Land Raider, Crusader, or Redeemer. Oh, one other thing you should remember about formations. They are outside of the force organization chart. Okay, so if you take a formation, you obviously pay the points for whatever it costs for those units, but they do not take up a slot in your force organization chart. It is just a completely separate thing. Now, Oh, a designer note. Instead of the Terminator Captain, this formation may include Captain Lysander. For his rules, see Codex Space Marines. So that's a pretty good thing. You can either have a space, uh, a regular Terminator Captain or a uh, Captain Lysander. That's nice. Restrictions. Now here's the getcha part to get the formation. This formation's Terminator Captain and Terminator Assault Squad deploy or arrive from reserves embarked in the formation's Land Raider. Okay, so you must do that. It must be, you cannot deploy them just at the start of the game because you want. They can only come in from reserves and they must all deploy from the Land Raider. Uh, the Terminator Squad must be composed, composed of five models and must be placed in deep strike reserve. So you can't take two or whatever, you need to take five and they need to deep strike. The Terminator Assault Squad must be composed of five models. So we're talking about, okay, so you're gonna need at least 10 Terminators for this to get this. Now, what do you get in return for following these restrictions? You will get the special rules Maximum impact. Units from this formation have the Hammer of Wrath special rule on any turn 
in which they disembark from the formation's land raider. Pretty awesome. But it gets better. They also get the special rule, swift deployment. This formation's Terminator squad can run and shoot on the turn it arrives by deep strike. How's that for some awesome sauce? Uh, wow. Other than that, you can do whatever you want to do with these squads. You can give them whatever war gear you want. Whatever you like. That is formations for you, baby. So like I said, at the end of this series, people will either be entirely playing your Space Marine Army differently, or uh, you don't really understand what I'm saying. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.